So my overnight last week was pretty good. I had the two uh, sizzle pups with me um, and the Oz litter. Um, and it was interesting. <laughs> Um, actually, Stitch and Jim slept most of the night, which was good. Um, and then I'm just always so on edge when these pups like are sleeping because I'm like, are they going to wake up in five <laughs> minutes or in two hours? Um, That's why you're getting hired to be there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, but they were great. Um, I spent like half the night next to the fire because I didn't want it to go out. Because I know how to tend a fire, I just don't know how to start one. Um, so as long as it didn't go out, it was fine. Also, uh, sitting in front of the fireplace is just so it's, peaceful and nice. It's not too painful a place to be. <laughs> right. Um, so that was good. Um, today was rainy but not cold. Um, a lot of the snow is, and ice is melting. Uh, but the walks are still icy in places. I thought it'd be gone by now. I, well, I looked out the window. There are patches yeah. of ice still. Um, you really should come in through the garage. I had only come up here twice today, including punching in and punching out. <laughs> um, I spent most of my day down uh, below, um, and I didn't find much ice but there's still a bunch of snow. Um, but I really hope um, that Tuesday into Wednesday isn't too bad, because tomorrow is supposed to be almost 60 degrees, meaning more snow uh, is going to be melting, and it's supposed to be still rainy, and then Wednesday is supposed to be 33 degrees, so everything's going to freeze again. Not at 33. That's the high. <laughs> oh. So, no. No. yeah, oh so okay. 33 is the high. So I'm picturing the average temp for that day is probably yeah. going to be like, Cold. yeah, like 30 or something, which when it's on the border of freezing, it's not fun. <laughs> um, I can't believe, I can't believe we have any kind of frost layer yet. On the ground or? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't think this, this snow would amount to that much, because I thought it'd be wandering off, but it didn't it didn't go away. It didn't go away. Um Yeah, so so much fun. Um this thing has the weather um on the explore chat. Uh, and it says snow for Wednesday. Got a little snowflake. So hopefully that changes, because we don't need more snow. But they're again, it gets up again. On, look at that, Friday, Saturday? Yeah. Wow. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> That's okay. We can deal with that. Yeah. Um, so Janine took um, Penelope and Blueberry today, the oh, goats. Oh, that's right. She left a horse? Yes. And she thinks the horse is pregnant. That's what she told me. Um, I don't know anything about it. It just looks like. Was well, it got a great big belly? <laughs> I don't think so. But okay. Well, some what of do these I horses know? are so thin. Yeah. That um, it, it you can really... definitely see her ribs. Well, it it depends on what's hanging down below that. I I, I forgot about that. I'll, I'll look at that before I do mail call. Yeah. Um. But she was nice. She let me put water in, and I gave her a little bit of grain. Um, but yeah. seems fine. It's always sad when I see the horses and donkeys coming in with the number glued to their fur. Well, at least we got them out. I agree, yeah. There's um, somebody, uh, somebody called me earlier about wanting to donate money specifically for the donkeys. Rest assured, Janine is stealing our hay as fast as she can, so it does help to have some hay paid for <laughs> by <laughs> I yes. personally am paying for the hay at the moment, yeah. um, but I will see. If you if you want a check to go to distinctly to her, you can se send it here to Equine Rescue Network, and I will see that she gets it. Um, but the person that sent the $100 for the donkeys this far, 
I'll buy hundred dollars worth of hay. That's ten bales. This this horse that's come in that's thin. That's probably two weeks worth of hay, maybe. Probably. Can't can't eat a whole bale of hay itself, but probably half a bale. Um, what else is going on? I had something to say and then I forgot. Wind it back up to the donkey camera. Let me see with it. It looks like she has a belly. Yeah, see, there's a there's something sagging down there. Yeah. I'll I'll kind of keep my eye on it, but from the one position I see now, it certainly. And Janine does know what she's talking about, so yeah, yeah, I would have to maybe agree with her. Yeah. What is it, blonde? What color is it? Uh, it's brown. Brown? Like a lightish brown. Light brown? Um, with white on the nose. The blonde, the, like, the, like the mule? Uh, darker than Mo. Oh, okay. Because Mo would really be a Palomino horse. That's probably a chestnut sort of thing. <laughs> that it's does look like a belly. <laughs> I don't maybe know anything we'll, maybe about Maybe we'll have to get Brian, the veterinarian, in to <laughs> do an internal and see whether she's pregnant. Yeah. Okay, excuse me. I'm he gets to wear that long glove. <laughs> yeah. The obstetrical glove is not a glove. It's a sleeve. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, Carlene's daughter, Gwen, came last week. And I was in the kitchen um, Friday morning while she was talking to you. And I... She and Janine have the same voice. Really? I never noticed that before. Oh, wow. um, and I've met her several times, and I was just like, oh, my God. Like, she was talking, and I was like, when did Janine get here? Well, Janine, Gwen gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Janine does not. <laughs> so if you heard it early in the morning, it was not Janine. Um, and then over the weekend, I had Wilbur at my house, um, Judy's dog. And he is such a nice dog. Um, and he gets along with my dog so well. Um, so I was do very happy. A, do not be a nice dog. What are your children are being noisy in there? <laughs> you want to go straighten them out? Yeah, you Jimmy. Tell him. You tell him. Did, did you want to go straighten them? <laughs> She's very good. Fine. Um, what else? Well, you're out. Think, yeah. Five o'clock. Perfect. There you go. Take your drool with you. You got it. No, you don't. You got it? it fell on the floor. Okay. That's okay. Good place for it. Who's on mail call tonight? Anybody? Oh, dear. Are you on mail call? Pam. Must, it must be Pam. Must be Pam. Get here. What am I stuck on? Okay. Well, on the story of my soup, it is still not here. This is the soup that got close when it was in Chelmsford. But after that, it went to Rhode Island, and then it came back into Massachusetts. And it was out for delivery again today, but I still don't have it. I cannot understand what on earth. So I emailed the company, and I dialed into this chat. Well, usually these company chats are pretty blasé. But at any rate, this guy, who was it, Ju Justin. That was his name, Justin? I already lost his name. I think it was Justin. Nice guy. He quickly sent out the next bunch of soup, which he will mail out tomorrow. Very apologetic, and uh, we'll see what happens next. He swears it'll be here by Friday. So we will now look again for the soup on Friday, because the soup that's coming in today, there's no way it can still be frozen. The only thing that kind of bothers me is it's only 32 pounds of soup. I bought four pound bags, hey. two, two, two cartons. So that would be eight bags of soup at four pounds each, 32, 32 pounds. But UPS says that the thing weighs 61 pounds. So maybe they have enough dry ice in it. I don't know. But 
I don't really think so. I don't think I'll take a chance on it if it if it's thawed. If it's still uh, if it's frozen, that it couldn't possibly have gotten itself refrozen. Well, stay tuned. Okay, where happened to my help? Here she comes. Your help is dragging stuff in. <laughs> she comes. <laughs> There we go. Okay. That could be my table. Oh. Oh. Just slide it right over here. There, go. there we go. We got it. You, you need the whiteboard bucket? and stuff, huh? Your bucket? Oh, I don't know where the bucket is. Diane is the bucket. Oh, here it is. Oh, right there. The oh, no, what, no need to worry. Okay. I think so. Okay. Now, what do I need? A uh, You need the whiteboard. Resuscitator or what? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have the whiteboard. You got the whiteboard. Okay, this is DHS Life Skills, Danvers High School. Oh my. I hope your Christmas is a merry thing, one merry thing after another. Thank you for allowing us to volunteer with you on Mondays. Happy holidays. Danvers High School Life Skills Program. Well, isn't that funny? Here's a picture of them. Oh, nice. Isn't that nice? Okay, oh, you can have that. Oh, yeah. You can hold that up. Yep. Okay, well, we don't need this one. Um, and then we have... Oh, let's find something exciting. Oh, there it is. Huh, okay. Charles Schwab. Charitable whatever. I'll just pile up these right there. Here I am. Oh, perfect. I'm trying to get, I'll get closer here. Cheryl and Charles Salt. And it's a matching program, and they are giving us $100. And that's a matching gift. <laughs> no, it's a donor advised fund straight away, $100. Well, that's very nice. I, I, they're going to have problems with this. Yeah, you have to put that down. Well, I can put that over here. That's a fun hat. Yeah, the one is. you have on. The one I have on? This one, I wore this yesterday. I wore this a couple of days. We'll put that there. I saw that one. Anyway, there, that's, that's the banking for you people that are new. That's our banking department. Okay, here is donor view. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this one is. Tired of ruining your non-profit on expensive, outdated systems that don't talk to each other? Um. No, I'm not. Okay, and this is Katrina Hall, Worcester, Mass. Well, that's pretty close. Well, it's an inquiry. It's an inquiry. You can have that. Okay. Okay, I always look to see if they're a veteran or their immediate family is whatever. And we have another one. Oh. Oh, I know who this one is. He, he has a dog. Ugh. Do you want to help with this envelope? I don't know. Do you want me to? <laughs> Good Lord. Good heavens. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The sound effects by Bentley. It's another inquiry deal. Um... Yes, this this guy's in the Navy. And he's six foot four. That certainly is the size person. And he's also a retired firefighter. Okay. Don't you love pens that don't quite write? I don't know. What on earth? Is that out of ink? If that's out of ink, we've got to give you a pen report. 
Because these are the pens that I was so excited about, but that that pen's out of ink. I don't write all that much. Well, we'll let it think about that for a minute. But I hope that's not out of ink. See, because I bought about a dozen of them. I guess I'll go back to the old kind. This is the old faithful. There we go. We're on it. We are on it now about the bees. America's bees. This is a definite problem with bees. Um, the country is losing out on the bee problem. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, apparently a lot of colleges and universities are putting in beehives. But why are they not planting trees, too? Can you tell me that? I don't know. They should be planting trees. Yeah. You know? They don't know where to plant trees. Right in the middle of their campuses. I know. Oh, right. Good Lord. Yeah. I don't know what this one is. They didn't put an address on it because they didn't want me to know ahead of time. Oh, you're right. Okay, that's out of here. Okay, and we have Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda from Texas. From Texas. You got that one? Yes. And, uh, they're, huh? It was a mug. I was looking for coffee. I'm sorry. And they are eating Jimmy Dean. Isn't that wonderful? These are cut very nicely into the required three foot by, no, three, three inches, <laughs> three inches by six inches, making them perfect for picking up poop, of which we do a great deal. And they keep, there's no smell in this house. I guarantee you. And right now, how many how many Great Danes are in this house? We have six, two, that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that it? Yes. We have eleven Great Danes in the house right at the moment, and I don't think it smells. Of course, maybe I'm used to it. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's, well, no? I will say this: they ate, they pooped, so we got the bags out, and we're back on track now. Yeah, we pick it up immediately and get it outside. So there are a few minutes there that it. Yeah, but we're, but it, we're, we're, we're right on detail. That's upside down. There we go. $124.59. Oh, Amazon services. Advertising fee. I don't know. There are a lot of places that have figured out how to make a buck out of everybody else's trying to give a buck. Okay, this looks like it's automatically printed. It does look automatically printed. It looks printed. suspicious. It, well, yes, it does. But Chewy. it has paw prints on it. So. It has paw prints. Well, <coughs> Sorry. the reason I get these is because when people send me things from Chewy, they put their name on the box so I know who sends it so that I get all the emails, all the junk emails for everybody. Hope you unwrap lots of holiday cheer and have a joyous start of your new year with your pet. Thank you very much. Okay, next problem. Next problem. I think Chewy is a really good company. Chewy is good. They have nice boxes. Yeah. But I think I think a lot. I don't think that I haven't heard many complaints about Chewy or huh? problems or. No. And Lord knows if there was, we get enough, so if there's going to be a problem, we'd have seen it by now. Yeah. That didn't work. I always open the wrong one here. Hard. There's three, three sheets here, and it's very, it's a big challenge to get them. There we go. We got it, maybe a little bit. No, we don't. There we go. There we go. Now we got it. That's upside down. Six hundred dollars. Thank you very much. Okay, we know who that's from. Our friend Debbie. Carmen. Yeah. Anadamos. No. Uh, A D A M O S. Henniker, New Hampshire. I've seen that name before. I don't know if I've seen that name before. 
Happy New Year. Pete, Shannon, Madison, this is Peter and Gretchen. Wasn't that lovely? Wow. Look at all the white shirts they got on those kids. Holy cow. Who was that? A D A M O. Zeke, it's the Adamos. Zeke? It's, it's yes, yeah, service dog Zeke is with uh, sh uh Oh there Adamo. she is, yes. Well why have they got the dog in the picture? I don't know. Shame on that one. I don't know. Okay, well you can have that one then. Okay. That's the bank statement. We don't need that one. I'll put that one in here. And we have Manchester, New Hampshire. From and Getty, Hillsborough, New Hampshire. Is oh, that that's right? uh, Maria with um, Sienna. Oh, with Sienna? Yep. Oh, okay. There she is. That's the dog and a half. Okay, may your Christmas be filled with good wishes and good friends. Okay, that, okay. If you can have that one over there. Okay. <laughs> where, where are you going? I was going to try, I've got to put this board up, and I was going to try to see if I could see. I oh, you can't raise through, no. I always try to And we have another Harold Wanda. What is it? There, there's nothing. There wasn't any cookies yet. Okay. And here we see they've got pecans today. Oh my. These people eat pecans almost every day. Almost. <clears throat> and here we have Whitaker, Torrance, California. That's got to be Martha, is it? Marsha. I don't know if you said Martha or Marsha, but it's Martha. There you go. Give that. Did you want did you want these? There you go. Have a good time. It's Christmas yet. Oh my. Thanks for all you guys do. From Marsha. Happy. She would like two chicken bricks. Okay, so that goes in this other drawer. Two chicken bricks, and that's ten twenty dollars. That goes in here, in the banking department. There we go from Marsha Whitaker. Very nice, Marsha. Thank you. And now we have Kunda, Mr. and Mrs. William Kunda, Moscow, Pennsylvania. So my soup is supposed to arrive next Friday. And what's funny is Sam ordered some, and she already has hers. And I didn't get any yet. At any rate, here we go. He closes the check, $50 for five chicken bricks. Okay? We love watching all your cameras, especially the new pups, growing and growing. They're so healthy and beautiful. Thank you and everyone at Service Dog Project for taking such great care of all the dogs so they can get to take care of someone who really needs them. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and healthy and Happy New Year. Bill and Gail from Moscow, Pennsylvania. Okay, that's five chicken bricks, so that goes in there. And here we have Penny, Harps, Harpswell, Maine. Harps well made. Going, going, gone. You got that one? Here you go. I'll put that one over there. Oh, an inquiry. Okay. Let's see. 
That's vain. Age one and a half. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Um, that happens because people see Bella and George and they figure, you know, and then they hear rumors about how it's four or five years before you can have a service dog, and but that's too young. Cannot We cannot give a dog to a person that cannot take care of it 100% because the dog bonds to whoever takes care of it, feeds it, water it, walk it. And so to be bonded to the person they're supposed to help, the person's got to take care of the dog. So that is one of our very first rules and regulations. Would anybody like to see the Verizon bill? Sure. If I can figure out which end to open. Well, that's not a hell of a challenge. I ought to be able to figure it out. There we go. Well, this could, this could be this could be confusing. It always is. Oh dear. I I it, it's talking about stuff I don't understand. Because I now have three Verizon bills. Oh, really? We have the barn, which is the cameras and all that stuff. We have a Verizon bill, which is my phone and all this stuff. And we now have one that's going to maintain the hot spot for setting up these oh. nursing homes yeah. with whatever. So now I've got three of them. Yeah. But seeing as I could never keep two of them straight, I'm sure I'm not going to do very <laughs> well with three. Right. I'm not happy about this pen. It's empty. Oh, and I ordered some and gave them to George. George. George will let me know. There we go, one dead pen. Next. <coughs> okay, and this one is from somebody. It's from Ship 2. No, here we go. Sandra, Copley, Ohio. Okay. Let's see what we got in Copley, Ohio. Get your nose out of the way. You'll get, get your nose cut. It's got a sharp edge, dummy. Oh. It's a toy box. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Chocolate mint wafers. Oh, nice. Oh. Thin mints. We got oh, thin mints. Oh. Wow. No, these aren't your type. I think yours are in the next box. This is not. She's she's hopeful. She's oh yeah. They, well, that's one thing about Danes and food. They're forever hopeful. And here we have they're some optimists. Some nice shit pickers again. Maybe soon. Sandra. Merry Christmas to everybody. Sending two fluffies which have been washed. She got that R in there for us. Some poo pickers and human treats for everybody to enjoy. My local grocery has just started to carry Hood Cottage cheese. I never would have tried it if not for Service Dog Project. Oh my. It's amazing what we pass on here, right? It's funny. Uh, Hood Cottage cheese with the pineapple in it is pretty yeah, good. Yeah. At any rate, um, so now you know, I think every time I think, Hoodsy, thanks again for all you do to improve the lives of so many people. Merry Christmas to everyone. Here's hoping for a new litter in the spring of 220. And there, that's, there starts our next problem. What to do next? Here, oh, look, I didn't get all the, I didn't get all the goodies out yet. Look at that. Oh, my. Wow. And we have some fluffies. Fluffy. fluffy one and fluffy two. Wow. Okay, you're going to take this over there. There we go. And I will take the next one. This one might be better. This one might be better. You might stand a better chance than this one. There may be something in there. Get your nose involved. Is it, do you think maybe there's cookies in here? 
This is one of those nice heavy duty boxes. Uh oh. The cons. I don't have any cookies yet. Oh. Well, we got more cons. The extreme con. Here they are. That next, we, the next one has to have them. Was there a name on that one? I don't know that I got it. Didn't name. I say that? What it was? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. Lila. Lila. Liza. That one. Oh, was it? Very long back name. Oh yeah, is that Lisa B? Could it be Lisa B? Lisa? I can't see. Lisa B. Lisa B. Oh, Lisa B. Okay, we'll get him in the next box. I promise, I almost promise you in the next box. Thank you for calling. We thank you. We have our con department downstairs. Okay. Now what are we going to do about this next one here? This one, this one's going to be tough. Let's get this one. This one, it sounded better. Didn't this one sound better? This one could be better. Thank you, Karen. We got, here we go. I'm going to drop it. Okay. Watch your feet. Oh boy, this one sounds good. I didn't I didn't see who was coming at. Right. But let's get let's get a cookie out. Oh, oh, dog boy. Has a heart attack over there. oh yes. And cookies. Oh. And it's cookies. Okay. Pick them up, we got them. Yep. We'll get the we'll get it open here, dog. Here we go. Here we go. Put them on the floor. How's that? There we go. Wow. A bunch of cookies. Get some? What's this bottle? I wasn't sure if there was something down there or not. Or if it was just air. No, it's air. Okay. Yeah. And from Target. Target has good boxes, too. Okay. And that's from somebody. Let me flip it. Laura. Laura Huron, there we oh. go. Laura Huron. Okay? Nice. Yep. And then we'll have questions and answers. Yes, we shall. So, Karen, if you could deposit these into the. We have 38 new. Watch Don't drop page. anything, it's heavy. Into the. Even if it's locked. There we go. Okay. Now for questions. 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 Mm. All right. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm ready. All right. Didn't hear. Where are Pen Penelope and Blueberry? They are going to the other farm. <laughs> You know, I once thought that the, the that Anne's farm was about the nicest in, in Massachusetts, and it really is lovely. It's the Winthrop estate. But darn if she doesn't, Janine does now have all the animals over at Meredith Farm, which is owned by a guy named Tim, who's doing a beautiful job at renovating all the stone walls and things. And they are not as animal-oriented as Janine is, certainly hardly anybody is. But Janine just kind of moved in the horses over there, and now she's moved in a few donkeys. Now there's a goat or two, <laughs> and, and the people are loving it because she's taken complete responsibility for it because she's so used to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, i got to go feed, you know. They've yeah. been doing that since they were three years old. So somehow, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, it's, i got to go feed, you know, and that's the sort of normal response of Janine. So, so the guy, I don't know, I don't know. To further complicate matters, I don't know. She put them down as a reference. I don't know. At any rate, we'll figure that out soon. Is everyone healthy? Yes, I think so. Are we all healthy? Yes. I think so. Yep. How, what does healthy mean? It means firm, round, cylindery poops. Yep. Jiminy is not still sick. They said, is Jimmy still sick? No. Thank you for Kong's. She's waiting patiently. We have also kind of made an observation that the harlequin dogs are heavier boned than the merles, the merles being that light gray. And we went through all our, our, whole, our whole bloodlines 
trying to figure out if we had any exceptions to that. We don't have any tall, thin harlequins. They're heavier boned. Mm -hmm. And the the merles are taller. Mm. And we don't have any short, stocky merles. Do we? I don't think so, no. No, well, no. everybody else think about that for a while. And yeah, it certainly yeah. is true with these with Jiminy and Stitch. It's a perfect example. That's what started me thinking about it because Stitch is a bra brick. Yeah. And and uh, Jiminy is not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, huh. anyway, we're wondering if that's color related. Uh, do Sizzle and Bentley wear service dog vests when they go out with you on your journeys? Sometimes. Sometimes. It's, it is not necessary that service dogs wear service dog vests. Um, they must behave perfectly. And I, I must admit, Bentley did not behave necessarily perfectly today. I was in my wheelchair -y thing, and I had Stitch with me. And Stitch was taking about all my time, so I didn't even have a leash on him. And he usually is very good. But when Judy left to go bring the car around to the front door of the, of the hospital... He stayed with me fine, but when that car pulled up to the front door, he left. And he did not stop when I told him to stop. The, the, the puppies and the dogs are all very excited when the car, when for the cars. Oh, yeah. Well, he knew that was our car. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I can't even say the word now. They'll get up and go someplace. Mm -hmm. um, flowers are more helpful than bees than tr for tr bees than trees. But I thought you meant just trees oh, yeah. in general. Oh, yeah, trees in general. Yeah. Yeah, they should put flowers up, too. Yeah. Um, is sizzle and heat? I I assume so. I checked, what, yesterday, and it, she was, she yeah. seemed to, she was red yesterday. Yeah, a couple of red drops here and there. Oh, my laughing of Seinfeld's no soup for you. Yeah, no <laughs> soup for you. Do you remember that soup Nazi? I remember that. Yeah. Um, yep, Sam said yes, mine came a long while ago. Curious. Uh, I know who, there's... Who, who, oh, Sam, Sam K? Yeah. yeah. I hope you're enjoying it, Sam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it could have been the storms. I mean, oh, clearly, well, it, I don't know. Well, we did have an accident with a tractor trailer on 495, very close to here. It could have been a UPS trailer. Mm -hmm. But my soup went from Chelmsford back to Rhode Island. Really? And then back to Linfield. Oh. So it hasn't, and it's been on the truck out for the delivery in, in, out of two different yeah. places. It should be going back to the company, and your fresh one should come yeah. back. Um, especially since they said they were going to yeah. resolve it. Oh, that, that guy, that Justin was very nice. I'm sure he took care of the whole thing. Yeah. Customer service at Chewy is exceptional. Yeah, I think Chewy and the, and the Bark Box, I'm, they've had a longevity with good quality stuff and they said they should be planting trees should be i think sizzle's trying to tell you to get chaos from taking up the whole, whole futon she is she does that yeah look, look at her yeah. look at, <laughs> <laughs> i didn't see it to begin that's with. what they said she's chaos! resting her chin you cannot her. have the whole thing move over Chaos, move it. Good girl sizzle. I'm get that pillow. That's a good girl it's sizzle. It's a pillow. It's not a... There you go. Well, it, 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 it really protects the corner of that... The corner of that corner? corner of that... Right, right there. One? That's what I'm kind of worried about. Yeah. Okay. Good girl sizzle. Go ahead. There's plenty of room for the two of you. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Pam, I just wanted to say how impressive you are when navigating through a room full of puppies. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it's 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 we a talent. The, we could put the sound on in there because you are funny. Uh, yeah, just so long as I know it's on, I'm okay. No, well, you'll be in charge of it. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. it's up there. Yeah, I do turn it on occasionally, especially when there when there's something for folks yeah. to hear. Let me let me look at the ma the horse again. Oh, sorry. Uh, where are we? There we are. I can't see the horse. Can yeah, you see he, the horse? No, he's back. He's in the yeah. back, right? That's a she. I mean, she's pregnant. in the back. Oh, that's right. Certainly. I mean, Janine gets that wrong sometimes, but usually that's only goats. Remember you the see? goat problem? Yes. She bought what she Here thought it is. were. I went back. See if, that, if that's belly hanging sideways. 
Let me see if I can. How do you do that? I, I click on the circle. Is that, is that belly or is that, you see what I'm pointing yeah, at? Yeah, I do right here, right? Is that If that's belly hanging out, then, then yes, she's pregnant. I, I'm trying to get her sideways. I mean, that's all her. Is it her? It looks, yeah, it's moving with her. Yeah, there's mm. her shadow right there. If she will turn, let me see. Huh. Okay. See you from that side? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's awful thin. In here. Yeah, well, yeah. no, thin up top. Look at the, oh, the, the backbone sticking out. Yeah. So she's basically thin with a great big belly. Yeah. Well, that's... That smacks of pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. I mean... At least for some for people. You can't, who, we're not getting her sideways because her food is that way, so... Yeah. Um, but you'll probably be able to see her after. I mean... Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know what the... If you look back on Facebook... You might be able to see her picture when Jane oh. bought her. Mm -hmm. You can do that. I don't know how that works. Yes, cust uh, Chewy customer service is excellent. Um, you probably should not eat the first shipment of soup. Yeah, that's what I said. It should oh, be. Yeah. It should be shipping home. It should be shipping back. At this well, point. Well, I don't see any point in doing that. Is there? Well, just so they throw it, it out or whatever. They <laughs> throw it out. Yeah, um, Sergeant Simon or Tall. Sergeant Simon from the Cookies Bumpy 2014 crumb litter. They're Harls. They are Harls. Olive is a question mark. She was a Merle, right? She's a Merle. Yeah. Yeah, she was a little dumpy. She she had a different, yeah, she was. Yeah. Martha is um, her her puppy, and Martha is Martha's well, pretty sturdy. That's black, though. The black oh, yeah, ones, right. The black She's ones black. seem to... Yeah. Seem to be a variety, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The harlequins seem to be shorter. And then Sergeant Simon. I except for except for Eeyore. I don't remember. Now that. Eeyore and Tigger. Eeyore's the one with the elbows who was just tall, tall, tall. That's right. But his brother Tigger is stockier. Yeah. But he's the only tall one that I can think of. And Tigger's of. the father of some of these puppies. Yes, Stitch and um, Jimmy and um, the Poos. And the Poos? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, the the Disney's, not the Poos. I'm sorry, that's Watson. The, so the, so those and oh, and the Totos. I'm sorry, he's their father, and he's Sizzle's puppy's father. Yeah. So wonderful to see Jimmy and Stitch with the Totos, and of course Sizzle, Bentley, and Chaos making appearances. Please give Chaos a cookie. Thanks. We'll give her one. Yes, I get. I will give her one. She's not starving. She is dieting and doing wonderfully. Every lack, every lack, every cookie less is helpful. Um, I'm like I'm one to talk. Um, anybody else? I think that was Eeyore. Yeah. Eeyore. He had those elbows. He was tall. That was, that was lately. That's got the, lately. The, the gal down in Cambridge has him. Yes. Yeah. I saw him. You're right. He, well, it was a good idea. But it, you know, it's still, there's everyone healthy. I'm just, think we're, think we're done. Let's see. I think see. we're done. All right. Scarlet is stocky. Yep. Oh, well. Um, someone can keep a list. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Emmett was tall. Here they come. We're going to have, Carlene's having chowder and wings, I think, and Andrew is on this evening. The whole weekend? He's doing Sunday, Monday. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. He likes it. Good. He's happy. Wonderful. I, 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 I'm not, you know, it's a time, between five and seven in the morning is bedlam. No matter who's here, because yeah. everybody's waking up and everybody's, you know, pee, poop, hungry, blah, blah, blah. So, but, so that's going to get messy and then you got to clean up, whatever. But I watch him through the night and I either see him with the puppies or I see the puppies sleeping. So yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. Is Olive still living? Yeah, as far as I know. As far as I know. Yeah. Pr Priscilla just friended me on Facebook, so... Was Olive born? Olive? What? What would Olive be? 
part of. So Martha is. There's there's her where she's. Oh, here, yes. No, that's her. Yeah. There she is. There she is. Okay, she's born in 09. She's 10 years old. Yeah. I haven't seen a recent picture of her. We need to get somebody else to, to keep this our bloodlines going because we're way up over this thing and we don't have any more of it. I tried to... <laughs> I tried to figure out how you could use a, a normal pedigree situation. Oh, yeah. With a stud dog... With four wives, you know, if you cut out the, if you cut out the the middle, just two. If uh -huh. you start with one, and you go to four, yeah, and then you go to whatever puppies after that, you, you can almost use a pedigree thing, right, 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 to illustrate, and then we would have one per male dog. Yeah, I keep looking when you're talking about the horse. If you if you scroll back, I don't know, a couple hours or something. Just scroll back past Mo. You'll catch it. All right. Thank you, everybody. We will Goodbye. see you tomorrow.